This will be the fifth time we've done Manchester Contemporary. So paper's a gallery that specialises exclusively on work on paper, but we kind of try and push the boundaries of what, what that can be. So whether it's painting, drawing, or even kind of video work and performance. Me and two other artists, uh, Andrea Cotton and Nicholas Smith, uh, who did the MA together at Liverpool, John Moores, and we decided kind of on a whim to, to open an art gallery in Manchester uh, as a way of promoting our own practices but also bringing in artists who we'd worked with over the years uh, and it kind of started as, as quite a fun thing and we applied to get into the Manchester Contemporary and as soon as we did that, it, it suddenly became very, very serious and it's just kind of skyrocketed from there, re really. So, uh, we did really well at the first uh, Manchester Contemporary, we sold quite a lot of work and yeah, ever since then it's kind of put paper on the map and pretty much established us in Manchester and beyond. Uh, Manchester Contemporary, we're going to be showing the work of uh, Marley Morris, uh, Lisa Denyer and Linda Hammersbatch. Uh, Linda and Lisa have been doing our Tracing Paper Mentoring Scheme and one of the things that we do for Manchester Contemporary is introduce uh, some emerging artists into uh, the Manchester art scene via, via our stand at the Manchester Contemporary. So we did it last year with uh, Naomi Kendrick and Ellie McGarry and a few other artists, Tracy Easton as well, who, who showed work at the fair. So we've decided to do this again this year. So what I wanted to do as well was uh, ask the two artists, Linda and Lisa, to, cut, sorry, to create a wish list of, of artists who they would like to show with, who have been a major inspiration on, on their work themselves. So... Uh, they chose uh, a London-based artist called Marley Morris as, as someone who was a big inspiration to them. So we thought it would be nice to position uh, a more established artist alongside two kind of young up-and-coming abstract painters as well. So all three... I think this year is going to be a really good Manchester contemporary. I think last year with the, the different space uh, worked really well. The fair seemed to flow better and... Uh, I think the spaces were really nice building, it, it was a really nice kind of route around the spaces so I'm really looking to, forward to, to this year's fair and I, and I think we've, we've got a really good stand that I'm going to be really proud of and it's, and it's a great opportunity to, to bring, uh, to introduce two new artists and bring in a more established artist to, to the Manchester Contemporary. So yeah, I think this year's going to be really great, really looking forward to it.